so hello guys welcome back to this space thank you so much for tuning in today to watch us in today's video we're going to prepare soft rock bands so these are the ingredients so i have here my nutmeg my uh, almond essence i've got my milk i've got my butter and i've got my brown sugar you can use white sugar but we prefer the brown one we've got four eggs on the side and obviously we've got our baking tray so this contains 12 sizes of uh, you know cupcakes baking tray so let's just begin so dry ingredients always first as I always say so what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to mix the dry ingredients and then we will continue so I'm adding here my half nutmeg you can choose to use the powdered one which i do have one in my house but i prefer the fresh ones because it gives it that fresh scent and the uh, fresh smell so i'm using here the fresh one so i'm just gonna grate just half of this in here i'm having self raisin flour if you're using all purpose flour i would advise you add baking powder so I'm just going to leave all the ingredients in the description box so you guys can follow in case you're using all purpose flour but I'm using self raisin so I don't need a baking powder so I'm just mixing the dry ingredients so in here as I said is a uh, one kilo of self raisin flour and I've add, added here half nutmeg which is the fresh one so I'm just mixing it You can choose to use your hand, but I'm using a scoop, <laughs> which I will change later when I'll possibly use my hand later. The next step is to add your butter. So those of you who have been watching my videos, especially my baking video, my pastries on this channel, I always do use the stock butter. That butter is everything guys if you bake in cakes or whatsoever that's what we use so I'm gonna just use half of that so 250 grams so that's what I should do and on this butter is 500 grams but I'm just gonna divide it and use 250 grams so there you go this is half of it so as I'm showing you in the video, I've used just half of that. Bear in mind, you can just use any butter you prefer, but you know, if you want that sweetness and richness, this is the right butter. I got this butter from, you can get it from Tesco's, from Morrison's, Asda, Aldi, uh, I'm not quite sure and little as well I don't think they do have this brand but you can get these from Morrison's any Morrison's or any Tesco's so I'm using my hand to just mix it making sure it all the butter and the flour and the nutmeg get mixed well so as you can see it's the same method as when you're preparing meat pie so if you've watched my meat pie recipe you would realize that is the same method the only difference here is that with the meat pie I do not add eggs yes that's the only difference and uh, some people tend to use water to do their meat pies but I choose to use the milk because I don't want my meat pie to turn out very hard so all you have to do is to just keep mixing it up until it's all well combined yeah just as you make it meat pie so once it's well combined, this is how it will turn out. So as I said, dry ingredients always first. I'm adding my brown sugar. You can choose to add white sugar, but in this house, sorry, but we prefer the brown sugar. So that's what I'm using for my pastry. So I'm just mixing it all together. And then once I've mixed it well combined, I'm going to add the liquid ingredient. So that will be, I'm going to mix the eggs with the milk and also with the almond essence. And then I'm going to pour it in my mixture, combine all together, and then we will just bake it. So the next step is I'm cracking my eggs. So you need to crack all the four 
talking to the milk bear in mind my milk is not too cold and it's not too hot so I would say it's kind of warm yeah so I'm going just gonna beat all the four eggs and then I'm just gonna whip it until it's well combined and then add my almond essence you can choose to add lemon or any type of flavor or even vanilla if you want but this is what I'm adding because that's what I prefer now I'm going to add my almond essence this is straight away from Italy yes I'm Italian girl I love my Italian ingredients so I'm just adding you can find this almond essence in any supermarket either Aldi, Tesco, Lidl or Asta but I'm using this straight away from Italy so I've mixed it so I'm just pouring it in and then I'm just gonna combine it by whipping all together I've already mixed all and whipped it together I'm just mixing the liquid ingredients to my dry ingredients and I've got here a wooden spoon you can choose to use your hand if you want but I don't want to get my hands too sticky on this so I'm just going to use my wooden spoon and mix it gradually so I'm using 350 milliliters of milk mixed with four eggs and also my almond ends and so I'm just mixing it you don't need more than this so you don't need more milk I'm just mixing all together making sure it's well combined you will be having that soft and fluffy uh, mixture that's how it is going to turn out it's not going to be very hard neither is it going to be very soft you don't need more milk trust me so I'm just mixing it all together then we're just going to scoop it into our muffin trays and the uh, big under 180 degrees up next is i'm just using my ice cream scoop you can use a spoon if you want and i'm just scooping it into my tray so what i've done earlier on is that i've just greased my muffin tray with a little bit of butter or you can choose to leave it like that however this is a non-stick non-stick uh, tray so that should be fine so you can just use it leave it like that or you can just grease it that is entirely up to you so I'm just gonna scoop 12 of these into it bear in mind this mixture is not just for 12 uh, muffin tray but it will give you let's say roughly 20 mini um, rock bands yes I'm not gonna eat all I'll be sharing some with some friends so I'm done and I'm going to just put this in the oven as I said and 180 degrees 20 to 25 minutes so when it's ready when you pull it out of the oven you just have to put some a stick in the middle of the rock bands if it turns out clean then it's ready if not then it's not so it's going into the oven now Yes, I've already set my oven under on the 30 minutes. But you can choose depending on your oven, you can choose to put it under 20 to 25 minutes, 180 degrees. So as you can see, I was just checking up on my rock bands and it looks good. It's turning out very good. Yeah. So as you can see, my rock bands is ready now. I'm just gonna pull it out. And then I'm going to leave it there for it to cool down. What I'm doing is I'm trying to see if my rock bands is ready. And as you can see, it came out so clean. I'm using a toothpick to test them. As you can see from the video, it turned out so nice. And inside is so soft and it's ready to be served. So you can choose to bake this and uh, you know for any occasion for parties but this is one of my favorite pastries so i chose to share the recipe with you guys you can choose to try it at home and kindly let us know how it went the ingredients are going to be left under the description box kindly like this video share this video with your family and friends and do subscribe if you're new on this channel if you're a returning subscriber thank you so much for tuning in to watch us today too until our next video, I would say is bye for now.